Stay tuned to see what I do with this fun paper and embellishments on You Only Have 10 Minutes. Hello, my crafty friends. Welcome back to another sheet load of cards in my series, You Only Have 10 Minutes. I am basing this on the February 2023 sheet load that just came out. This is the sketch for this month. And there's a lot of pieces to this. It's going to be a lot of fun. Our A2 card bases are portrait style, meaning it goes up and down like this. Now, there are specific instructions for the cutting. So when you get this, you will see that. There's 24 pieces of this and 24 pieces of this. Although the very first one I cut was always kind of an experiment and then I learned. <laughs> so this came out a little bit smaller, so I cut this one down too. So I have these pieces and these. This comes from my newest set from Club EP called Homemade. I thought that was pretty appropriate. And here's an example of the sticker sheet. I will be putting some of these in the cards, as well as these hearts, because I'm gonna be making more Valentine cards. I'd love to donate them to my church. So it took me about 10, between 10 and 15 minutes to get everything cut and my car base is folded this is a beautiful light pink this was a set from recollections so i thought it would go really well and i'm going to be using different sentiments if you recognize these these are some sentiments that alicia of call me crafty owl offered us and so i just printed some out on cardstock so I'm going to be using those, as well as some ephemera from my kit. So let's go ahead and start. I'm going to stamp the insides of the card bases first. So let's get 10 minutes. I have my timer on my iPad over here, so you won't be able to see it, but it's at 10 minutes. So let's get started. I will really use the same sentiment block that I used on my live. I will link to that at the end. Wishing you a Valentine's Day full of love and happiness. I always like to stamp the inside first in case I make a mistake. Like that because it's awfully light so I can just turn it over and try again and then if neither one of them are great I will pick the best one There, perfect, all right. I thought these pattern papers lended well to Valentine's Day. We've got flowers and we've got a pretty orangish red plaid and then of course I had the hearts in my stash I will put a picture up there of how I did a non-generous cut like Alicia points out 
it's easier to just show you than try to describe it. That way you make sure you get 24 of these instead of 23 and 23 full size ones and then the last piece is way too small like a half inch if you don't make sure about those cuts. So we're making 12. And if you haven't already, people on her team are showing theirs off. There's always such a great variety of creativity there. All right, those are finished. Let's go ahead and mat our pieces. This will go on the front of the card, like so. Let's do this first. pretty flowers here. Good for any season. going to go ahead and attach the matting to the cards first and then we'll put the pieces on if that makes sense Right in the middle, just like that. Yep, we're out of uh, that figures. I did not have any on hand. Yep, okay, there goes my timer. Okay, well, we've got everything matted here. We got a couple of pieces on here. Next time I'll have everything ready. Okay. So please make sure to join me next time. We will finish putting things on here and then we will start adding these pieces and then our sentiment. Like so. Thank you so much for joining me, and I can't wait to see you next time. Bye-bye.